Hello everyone, I am Preya Rohila, TGT Natural Science of DOE. Today we are going to learn about chemical reaction and equations. This is the first chapter of class 10, Science. What is a chemical reaction? We all have seen certain changes around us. Like certain changes involves change in state, change in color, evolution of gas, or change in temperature. All these things happens when a chemical reaction takes place. Suppose milk is left at room temperature during summers. What happens? It changes into curd. So here the identity of the initial substance which is milk have changed. Milk has turned into Curd. So its chemical properties are also changed. Where the chemical changes occurs, the chemical reactions takes place. There are other examples of chemical reaction like burning of magnesium ribbon. Magnesium is a metal. If we burn the magnesium ribbon in the presence of oxygen or in the air, it changes into magnesium oxide that is white color powder. It is given in the activity 1.1 of NCRT. There are other examples like action of dilute sulfuric acid on zinc. Zinc is a metal. If we add dilute sulfuric acid in the zinc, hydrogen gas, a colorless gas is evolved. So see, evolution of gas is happening. So it is a chemical change and we can say that it is a chemical reaction. Now we will talk about the chemical equation. What is a chemical equation? The representation of a chemical change in terms of symbols and formulae of the reactants and the product is known as chemical equation of the chemical reaction. Here we represent the chemical reaction in the form of symbols and formulae. See the substance which combines together are known as reactants and they combine to form a different uh, compound that is known as product. So how can we write the chemical equations? There are certain steps to write the chemical equation. Step 1 is write word equation. Here word equation is the equation showing change of reactants to products through an arrow placed between them. How can we write the word equation? Let us see. The reactants are written on the left hand side here okay, with a plus sign between them. Products are written on the right hand side here with a plus sign between them plus sign is used to combine different uh, elements or compounds an arrow is placed between the reactants and products arrow head point towards the product showing the direction of the reaction i'll show you This is a chemical reaction. Reactants, they are written on the LHS side, left hand side with a plus sign in between them and there is an arrow which is pointing towards the direction of the reaction and this is the product. Now what is the second step? Second step is writing a skeletal chemical equation. What is skeletal equation? Skeletal equation is a symbolic representation of a chemical equation. Okay. Now, as in the first step, we have written the word equation. It was the word equation. Magnesium, oxygen. We are writing them in the form of words. Now, we have to write the skeletal equation. In the skeletal equation, we show the symbols. It is a symbolic representation now. We have to write the symbols. So, what is the symbol of magnesium? Mg. What is the symbol of oxygen? O2. And 
it is forming magnesium oxide so the symbol of magnesium oxide is MgO so this is how we write the skeletal equation but it is not balanced okay here I can uh, also tell you about this S S is the physical state of the uh, element this magnesium is in solid state oxygen is in gaseous state and magnesium oxide is also in solid state okay these are the representation of the physical state of the uh, reactants and products we it is a must okay while writing the reaction we must represent the physical state now as if we all know that uh, this is not a balanced equation balanced means the atoms present on the reactant side should be equal to the atoms uh, present on the product side according to Dalton's atomic theory atom is the smallest unit of an element that takes part in chemical reaction and the number of each element remains the same before and after a chemical reaction so let us balance the equation 1.1 as you all can see here magnesium is having only one atom if there is nothing written before magnesium or here so it, is, it means it is having only one atom okay oxygen is having two atoms see magnesium is having one atom oxygen is having two atoms and on the product side RHS side right hand side magnesium is having one atom and oxygen is having one atom so what are the steps of balancing it is a technique of trial and error method okay uh, see what we do we will make a box and we will write the elements and then we will make uh, write the number of atoms present on the left hand side then we will write the number of atom present on the right hand side okay see magnesium is having one atom on the left hand side and oxygen is having two atoms on the left hand side and right hand side magnesium is having one atom and oxygen is also having one atom as you all can see that magnesium is in balanced state left hand side and right hand side both are having one one atom each so it is balanced but oxygen is not balanced see oxygen is having two atoms on the left hand side and one atom on the right hand side what we will do we will multiply one with two to make two atoms so write the number of atoms for each element first in the table here the equation is in balance term for the magnesium now we have to balance the oxygen how we will do that we will balance the oxygen by multiplying 2 with magnesium oxide on RHS we will uh, first take these elements into boxes okay what does it mean that we cannot write any number within this box okay you cannot change the numbers inside the box what you have to do if you are multiplying it with 2 then you will write 2 outside the box now each type of atom is counted again on both the sides to check whether the equation is balanced or not here now we can see the oxygen is balanced okay two elements here and two elements uh, two atoms on the right hand side two atoms on the left hand side but again now <laughs> magnesium is unbalanced magnesium are two atoms on the right hand side but it is only one atom on the left hand side so now what we will do we will multiply magnesium on the left hand side by 2 ok I am writing 2 with red pen to show that we are multiplying it for balancing the equation now 
Firstly, in the first step, we multiplied magnesium oxide with 2 to make oxygen atoms to balanced. Okay. Now, we are multiplying magnesium on the left hand side with 2 to balance the whole equation. Check again. Since all types of atoms are equal on both the sides, the chemical equation is now balanced. It is important to write the symbols of physical states. As I have told earlier, sometimes the reactions, conditions such as temperature, pressure, catalyst etc. for the reaction are indicated above or below the arrow in the equation. So, you all know it is a reaction of photosynthesis. Here, carbon dioxide is in aqueous state. Okay, it is mixed in the water. Aqueous state is this. Okay, it is added with water. Carbon dioxide and water, they combine together in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll. So, these are the conditions for the reaction to happen. They convert carbon dioxide and water, sunlight and chlorophyll. They convert the whole elements or compounds into glucose c6 h12o6 it is in aqueous state then oxygen is released that is also in aqueous state then water is also released during photosynthesis so you can see the conditions we have written over and above and below the arrow this is how we all write the chemical equation Okay, hope you have understood. Thank you.